Although he spent much of the war with the Green Howards, he was in fact awarded his Victoria Cross while serving with the Duke of Wellington's. The award was for an act of outstanding bravery at Marquin on the 28th of September 1918. An eyewitness describes the action in which he said, our platoon was held up under intense heavy machine gun fire when he, Henry, crawled forward, located the German guns and knocked them all out. He then, single-handedly, under a hail of bullets, repaired a flank bridge, enabling our troops to cross at a vital point. On the same evening, we made another attack, he says, in which we were completely surrounded by an overwhelming number of the enemy. We thought our position would, was hopeless and would be lost. But Private Tandy, without hesitation, and although he was very badly wounded, led a bayonet charge on the enemy and drove through them. The fight was brutal, but because Henry was so determined, we pushed on through and captured 37 of the enemy. Despite his bad wounds, he was in fact wounded twice, he flatly refused to leave us until the battle was won. <laughs>